And so the Bulldogs going to go with Cade Smith today, the right-hander. And the first pitch of the ball game is in there for a strike. Preston Johnson yesterday, Bulldogs needed a good start, and they got it from Preston Johnson. Batting 368 on the season. Ground ball back up the middle, off the second base bag. What a stab by Jaeger, the throw to first, not in time. Oh, my goodness. R.J. Jaeger back in the lineup at second base today. Take a look at that. It went right off the second base bag. So right back up the middle, and look at those reflexes. Ooh, close at first. Man, they're going to get together and take a look at it. What a great play by R.J. Yeager. You see Yeager able to adjust on the ball off the bag. Let's take a look from this angle. And so the umpires come out, and the call will stand, but that was as close as they could get. 0-2. There's strike three called on the outside corner, and the first strikeout of the day for Cade Smith. That Gave up just six hits and 15 innings of work, and that's out to Aaron Downs in right field. He'll make the catch, and that'll end the inning. And here's Cameron James. First pitch grounded past the third baseman, Voorhees, and into left field. James makes the wide turn at first and comes back to the bag. The throw comes back in from the left fielder, Gick, toward first base. Runner going. The pitch is high, and the Throw down to second, and they got Cam James dead to rights. Wakeham came out throwing. James didn't get a great jump from first, and that's a good pitch to throw on that fastball high. Two to six on the put out as Fisher took the throw, and now Hancock hit with a pitch. And first pitch, Logan Tanner popped up first base side. Will it stay in play? Yes, it will. And the first baseman, Ryan Glass, makes it just in front of the dugout, and that will end the bottom of the first inning. Downstairs, ball four, and a leadoff walk to Fisher to start the second. 1-1. And lay down a bunt. That's a good one. Fielded by Hancock, and only one play. Turns and makes the throw. He's looking for somebody to go out and win some jobs. There's a swing and a miss. He's got a good... Starter on a Sunday that's really claimed his job well. Cade Smith striking out Brennan Gick. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Baseball in general now. There's a shot into right field. He sat on the changeup that time. And Hines pulls it into right field. Well, nice job of making an adjustment that time. Lane next weekend. Pitches down. And runner going to take second base. Well, you saw the catcher wake him. And that's a good job by quarter right. Line to the left field. Hines will round third. He'll come around to score. An RBI single for Matt Quarter. And the Bulldogs have a 1-0 lead. Nice adjustment that time by quarter. He was early on two straight pitches. That time makes the adjustment, puts the line drive in the left field. And the Bulldogs get a run. Just dropped the bat head, sends it into left field. And Corder with his fourth hit of the year, his sixth RBI. Into center field, may drop, and going to drop. And it gets past Tucker, the center fielder, and everybody's going to move up. And so it will be a single and then an error. And the Bulldogs aggressive on the bases. Tucker came in trying to decoy the runner going into second. Ground ball, and that was headed to center field. Two runs will score. And the first at bat for Aaron Downs is a two-run single. Well, how about that? Disciplined approach at the plate by Aaron Downs. Takes it right back up the middle and drives in two. Just using the middle of the field, right back off the mound. And Matt Quarter and Brad Cumbus come around to score. And it's 3 0 state, and that's four consecutive singles to start the inning. And now we're going to have a meeting on the mound. 3 2, and just missed inside, and that's ball four. So James draws a walk. 
Luke Hancock sawed off, rolls that one out to the second baseman. Odom makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Bulldogs in eight to the plate, score three times. Went down and got that one and lines it into left field for a solid single. That was coming right at Gick, and he was kind of unsure of it. 2-1. Ball lifted in the left field and hit well. Into the teeth of the wind, and it gets out of here. A line drive into the wind and into the lounge and a two-run home run for Brad Cumbus. That's one of those balls that barely gets 20 feet off the ground. It was hit on a line. Just high enough to go out. Boy, he got all of that one. And State has a 5-0 lead. Boy, he hit that one hard. Rifle shot to left field for Compass. And his second home run of the season is second in many days. Well, that's how you negate the wind. You just keep it low. That's a little like golfing in West Texas, yeah. man. Well, knock down four iron right there. Gets it out of the yard. We're going to have a pitching change. And the 3-1 downstairs and a two-out walk for Cameron James. Turned him loose. There's a fly ball to right field. Drifting back. Hancock. Home run. And State leads 7-0. Well, he hammered that one. Hancock kind of looking for that power stroke. He found it there. First home run of the season for Luke Hancock. A year ago to the day that he walked off Tulane with a grand slam. And a two-out, two-run home run now in back-to-back -back innings. And Logan Tanner will bat in the 7-0 game. Last week, just one so far this week. That went into left field, and it's going to drop in front of Cumbus. A little humpback line drive by Gick going the other way. Well, blocked up the first base side, but Gick will go into scoring position off the wild pitch. Nothing that Logan Tanner could do with that. Sawed him off. Hancock couldn't handle it clean, and now the runner going to reach. Ball's got a lot of spin to it. It's like a Frisbee when it hits. The Bulldogs have turned one double play this season. And run going to get home right now to sacrifice fly. Quarterback hauls it in. Gick will trot in from third to score the first run of the game for Northern Kentucky and make it a 7-1 ball game on a sacrifice fly by Trevin Moss. Runner going, and a strike three called on the outside corner. Voorhees didn't like either one of those, and that will end the inning. Wanted some. Pitch. And that's low ball four. Line drive in the center field, and that's going to drop in front of Skinner. And a solid single for Kane in his pinch hit appearance in the eighth inning. And run one out of here. Breaking ball. That ball hit well in the right center field. Skinner over to get it. They're going to wave the runner around third. And it will be a long single for Wakeham that drives in Voorhees with a second run of the game as Kane goes first to third. And a pitch, a line drive into left field. Downs coming in, and he makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. So ball hit well by Odom, but out to the Bulldog left fielder, Aaron Downs. Start. Here's a 3-2. High ball four. And a one-out walk here in the ninth. Runner goes, the pitch is down, and the game stays alive. Lined in the center field, back goes Skinner, still ranging back, and he's there to make the catch on the track, and that will end it. So Mississippi State, after dropping the Friday game, comes back and wins Saturday and Sunday and takes two out of three against Northern Kentucky.